Hi everyone. Today I'm sharing with you a knit maxi dress that I've sewn twice. I've worn multiple times this past summer. It's a great transition piece moving into the fall. If you're new here, I'm Sharon with Sharon Sews and I'm so happy that you're here. The maxi dress that I sewed is from the Berta 32015 March 2015 Berta Style Magazine and it is the maxi dress number 122 shown here in the striped fabric. I sewed this one before, you might recognize it from a previous makes video. About three weeks before the entire country shut down, our friends had been here visiting us and we had a chance to go to San Antonio. And while we were there, of course, I had to go to a fabric store. I'll link that video because I did do a fabric haul video. While at the fabric store, Larry and I had both found a piece of fabric that we really liked. She made a top out of hers. I made this maxi dress out of mine. And I will link that makes video above. Also, if you have not seen that yet, I liked the maxi dress so much that I sewed another one out of this fabulous tie dye double brushed knit. This particular piece of fabric was gifted to me by Fabrics by the Yard. I did sew the dress a few months ago. Uh, what I discovered was this fabric, while I love the maxi dress and it's a very summery type maxi dress, it's way too warm for the summer here. It was, it was sticky. So I did wear it a couple times and then I put it aside. And now that fall is here, it is the perfect transition piece for me. It's actually 85 out right now, which it feels odd. It feels like summer to me still outside, although the calendar says fall. This dress could easily transition to even cooler weather by simply donning a jean jacket and maybe adding some booties. I actually like wearing this running around with a pair of white trainers. Super comfortable, and I feel like it's a little more put together. I always say put together. I think I like to feel like I'm put together, although I should probably share with you some of the things I wear when I'm just kicking around the house, not going anywhere. This dress itself is very simple to sew and it doesn't really look like anything special, but what makes it so unique is the hemline. And I will show you that in the video and talk about some of the features of the pattern. The pattern is also available on the Berta Style website to be downloaded as a PDF if you do not have this Berta Style magazine issue. This maxi dress is basically a t-shirt that has been extended. It's got this really cool kind of side seam comes out almost like a Oh, I don't know, like a big square. And then those edges are open. So when you walk, your leg pops out just a little bit. And of course, great transition piece as it moves into cooler weather. I can simply add a cardi or a jean jacket and boots. I like wearing it with trainers. So as I said, it's basically a t-shirt. It did take about three and a half yards of fabric, 60 inches wide. So watch the type of fabric that you choose because three and a half yards, that's a lot of fabric and it can get pretty heavy. I did eliminate the neck facings and used binding instead. Now there are side seam pockets as I was showing you there. And I used a knit lining instead of self fabric for the pockets. And there are bust darts. I love anything with a bust dart. And especially when I do not need to do a full bust adjustment, which I did not need to do on this one. Oh, there's Miss Tandy. She just loves to come and see what I am doing when I'm out in the yard. Back to the dress. This dress has raglan sleeves and it's actually a two piece sleeve. So there's a seam on the top of the shoulder. There are cuffs according to the pattern. I left the cuffs off of the sleeve. I just don't like that look. The back of the dress does have a center back seam and that is slightly curved, which means you cannot place that pattern piece on the fold of the fabric. And I also removed about two inches from the bottom. For your reference, I'm 5'5", so the pattern piece was too long to begin with. And the combination of so much fabric, the weight of it also pulled it down. So keep that in mind if you do choose to sew this. Here's the line drawing of the dress so that you can see those details that I just talked about. Do you notice my eyes? I put on false eyelashes. That's the first time I've ever done that. It was easier to put on than I thought. We'll see how easy they are to take off. I actually purchased these because they were going to do some online classes, um, the Zumba Gold classes. They used to teach Zumba Gold when we lived in Minnesota for years and years and years. And I now have the ability to teach online. So I bought the lashes thinking it would help 
on camera to see, I don't know, see my eyes. Maybe that's silly. If you've got tips for false lashes, let me know. They're kind of fun. Anyway, side note. I hope you enjoyed my review of the Maxi Dress 122 from the Burtisdale March 2015 magazine. If you enjoyed the review, if you thought the video was entertaining, please give me a thumbs up on the video. Until next time, happy sewing. Or you enjoyed watching me model what I had worn? That was dumb. <laughs> oh, who's that? Give me that sticker. Go get the squirrel. Go get the squirrel.